Right, let's have a look. So the last recording ended there at 10 minutes and I lost track of time and I got carried away and just merrily talked to myself. So I think we must have said that if it meets at T, then that's when Y is zero. Right, okay. So I need to know what the X value is that goes with Y is zero. Right, so I've got X plus P squared, lots of zero, minus 2P is zero, so X is 2P. So that tells me the coordinates of T, which is 2P comma zero. I know the coordinates of P, they were P comma 1 over P. And now if I'm looking at distances, to prove that OP is equal to PT, but that's a distance, what I can do is show that OP squared is the same as PT squared. I don't need to bother about writing the square roots. Right then, so O to P squared will be P takes 0 squared plus 1 over P takes 0 squared. So O P squared is P squared plus 1 over P squared. There. Right then, P to T, you've got to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to do the difference in X. That's going to be 2P take P squared plus the difference in Y, which is 0 take 1 over P squared. P T squared is P all squared, and that's minus 1 over P all squared. So P T squared is P squared plus, now minus and minus is a plus, that's going to be 1 over P squared. So if you look, OP squared is the same as PT squared. So OP squared is PT squared, therefore OP is PT. There you go, job job. <laughs> An extra two minutes, that's all I needed. All right, there you go.